everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day because we are headed to the Calgary RV Expo and Sale to tour some fifth wheels. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video and you can see which ones are our personal favorites. <music> So this is the Keystone Avalanche 312 RS. It is a double axle. You've got a six point hydraulic auto leveling, massive pass through storage here with that drop frame construction. And I believe that Avalanches are the uh, 101 inch wide body construction. Of course, Keystone has uh, been making a lot of an amazing fifth wheels for many years now, including the Montana. So we're gonna go in and check it out. Got the Lippert solid steps. Go to the front first. Look at the colors in here. This is beautiful. Kind of filming the RV show? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. We are. I just finished doing like 20 videos. Oh, did you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be us. We just got here. So got a Jensen audio, morning, so. nice fireplace. I don't like the, uh, I don't like this. We have our own channel. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. So. No. no, no, not at the show. Like How often are you nice theater no, seats. No, we haven't been to one. Only downside Actually, here is you got the uh, heat vents now. in the floor, yeah. but, but carpetless slides so we have a channel called with a similar Live material to the uh, so it's all about the flooring here. Living. Yeah, really, really nice. Yeah, that would be great. So this will go on in about two weeks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is very close. You've got our contact information. Yeah, I got the Furion oven. You know insignia care. Care. microwave yeah. and I don't think that okay. is convection and then you've got the propane electric fridge that is huge that's got what would that be would that be a 18 cubic foot do you know yes yeah is this an 18 cubic foot fridge yes yeah okay very nice this sink this is a cool sink actually because you get the get the large bowl on this side and they have clearly used the same solid surface material for those sink covers because they are heavy, which is good. Yeah. You don't want them moving around. Oh, nice garbage and recycling. And then some more storage under there. Yeah, what do you think? I like it. Like the color scheme, like everything about it. It's a good layout. Yeah. The ceiling fan up there, some really nice lighting fixtures. Oh. Yes, and that is huge for me because I have hit my head on more than one slide out. I hear that all the time. Yep. Well, nice dinette. All right, let's head up onto the bathroom. I just want to look in the pantry. First. Yes, pantry. Oh, it's a closet. Oh, this is where you put your washer and dryer. Nice. Okay, so washer dryer hook up there. Oh, so this is like the one where they put the little access up there. That's nice there. That's actually got doors on it, so yeah. you can close that off for travel days or whatever. You would not leave that plate in there. No, you wouldn't leave that plate in there. Oh, to walk through. So we got the walk-through bathroom here. Very nice. We have to do the shower test. I'm gonna do the shower test. I'm taking my sunglasses off. All right, so this is not bad. Right, I'm 6'1", I'm wearing boots, so let's call it 6'2", with my boots on. What I like here is the uh, skylight goes the whole depth or width of the shower. So yeah, this is doable. You got your bench there, some nice black fixtures. Yeah, very nice. East-West bed slide. Only downside to this particular fifth wheel I'm not loving is the floor vents, uh, the vents in the floor. Yeah. I like how they did the... Um, Oh, the, cap. the front cap yeah, there. Yeah, that's really nice, actually. So you got some extra storage there. I've not seen this particular design before, so lots of storage. We're not going to open all of them. Um, lot, lovely hanging storage here. Yeah, fantastic. Tons of it. Yeah, you've got kind of some secret. Well, I don't know if I'd be putting too much in there while you're driving, but uh, very nice. You got a dresser there, and, a little bench. and then a little bench. Nope, and that does not open. Yes, it does. Oh, it does. It does open. Look for the sneaky spy guy latch there. There you go. So one of the cool things about a lot of these newer fifth wheels is you do get the uh, road armor suspension with the half-inch shackle plates. 
see those tires there. They are not a brand that I have heard of. Have you ever heard of Oracle tires? No. I like the wheels. I like the six-point hydraulic auto leveling, but I would certainly prefer if they put uh, something like a Goodyear Endurance. All right, so here's another Avalanche. This is their uh, 360 FL, which is their front living floor plan. And this is what I personally love about front living floor plans is all that storage. This is the raised version. There are some that do not have that. And then check this out. You've seen this online. This is oh, just- Oh my word. That is just amazing right there. I believe it's got a 500 pound capacity, but think about all the stuff you can store in there. Kayaks, probably some e-bikes that were folded down. The awning. Take a look at the tires. You can see it's the Lippert uh, hydraulic auto leveling with hitch memory. That is the six point, which is nice for a trailer this size because this is going to be a beast. And that's again at Arcan trailer and RV. Oh, wow. All right, so here it is. This nice. is front living. You got the TV on the televator yeah, right nice. there, fireplace. <laughs> Did you see the storage underneath at the back? Not yet. <laughs> Like and outside, got it's got one couches. of those trays that you pull out. Yeah, and these would fold out into couches here as well. Yeah. And then there's your theater seats. A little televator. Your sound system up there. Yes. <laughs> got your dinette there. Oh my gosh. I know, they all have garbage cans. Oh. A little shallower pantry. Control panel right here. And interestingly, they have uh, fully mechanical and partially electronic buttons there. They've not gone to that pure Lippert one control yeah. system. I know. It's, well, they're finally listening to people. Oh, someone used the shower in here. Again, similar shower and bathroom setup to the previous two avalanches that we looked at. 48 inch fiberglass shower with seat. Looks like they're doing that in all their models. This one is just flipped. So here's the rear. Stackable washer and dryers. They're saying then, in all of their models. Okay, all their models for Keystone Avalanche. So lots of uh, hanging storage back there. That's great. And then I believe, is that a queen or a king? I think that is. I think that's a king. I think it is a king, yeah. So yeah, so it takes up a little bit more room obviously, but tons of space here for you know, getting changed, things like that. You got a TV backer up there and then some We're more storage down there. The bar. Maybe you could wait, retrofit it. That's actually really cool. Hey. Horse River Impression uh, 235RW. So this would be, you know, if there was something that was half ton towable and you have the exact right half ton, this might be in that category. Unfortunately, we don't have hitch weight or pin weights here. Got a nice sink cover. Okay, you gotta see this. All right, so you got your theater seats theater there. And then, seats. I mean, this is kind of cool how they did this to make yeah. use of space in a smaller unit, so. This is your TV, it's got some storage, but then. Yeah, that is, that is pretty your, sweet. Lock your children up in. Yeah. And then tons of storage in there. All right, let's go That's check out. That's cool for the size. Sorry. No, it's all good. Thank you. Yeah, so I mean, as you would expect in a shorter fifth wheel, no, no slide outs in the bedroom here. This is, to me, this is more of like a, you know, weekending. You got some, yeah, is that a, yeah, it is washer dryer hookups. Yeah. Wow. It would just be one of the yeah. in-unit Combo ones. units, yep. Yeah. Really cool treatment on the doors here. Just a wallpaper, but it looks like it's... Uh, 63 bedroom height. I'm in the bathroom. Surprise! Oh, where'd you get that? It's nice. Yeah, I mean for this size of unit, I mean you got a full yeah. full shower there. I can show you. Okay. That's what I need. Okay. Very nice. Alright, so this is the Alliance Avenue 32 RLS. This is uh, Will yeah. and Jen's, well, the one they're selling. 
So you can see the show price there. Of course, if you're watching this in the United States, these are Canadian prices. So uh, that is just the way we roll up here in Canada. We pay more than you guys do. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go take a look. We're always looking first at this uh, path through storage. So you can see all these, uh, even the alliances are 101, 101 inch wide body construction. You have the tough flex roof. Only thing is you don't get the drop frame. I I'm not sure if you get it in the paradigms or not. Not bad. Let's oh, the check out the interior because this is what Alliance does so well as wow. their interiors. Yeah, very nice. Lots of storage. Tons of storage up there. And then that would pull out to uh, no, couch. Very, kind of very similar, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, it's so interesting, right? Because so many of these rear living floor plans are the same or similar. So it really comes down to what your preferences are for interior finishes and things like that. Yeah. A little USB charging station there. You got more storage up here. This doesn't close. <laughs> Going to be adjusting that the first drive. <laughs> Laminate though. Yeah, not Solid full surface wood. countertop, which is nice, but mm -hmm. you can see some of the features of Alliance. They do use Asdel, which is that green composite material that will not delaminate. They use the Moride Cree 3000 suspension system, which is fantastic. Okay, let's go to the upstairs right now, huh? There's no one in here. All right, nobody's upstairs, so we are going up there. Okay, so, so it uses a barn door. Very nice. Do you have the bench? This feels like a much larger shower than that uh, Keystone Avalanche. Yep. Uh, rear living. I'm not sure. This is my uh, thing oh, yeah. as a guy when I'm washing my face in the mornings. Um, when you have this medicine cabinet right there, there's been a more than one scalp knocker. Washer and dryer on either, either side. Mm-hmm. Under bed storage. Oh, look at that. Yeah, really good. Nice under, under bed storage. Oh, word. oh, sorry. Now, those nightstands are a little better, right? Because they're raised up a little bit. You do have a 110 plug right there. And then you have the barn door over there. But here, I'm actually hitting my head. So you want to grab that and just show people turn it around. So I am hitting my head right here. So <laughs> we may be at some point in time needing to buy a full profile fifth wheel because this this is uh, this is not going to work for me. But it's a beautiful fifth wheel for sure. Blackout. Yeah, blackout roller, roller shades. shades. Very nice. Storage up front. Okay, so this is a really good comparison, right? Because we were just in the Alliance Avenue. Alliance Avenue, and now we're going to switch over to the tw the 2023 Alliance Paradigm. 310 RL so very very similar layout um, but you're in the paradigm version now so right away we see we get drop frame construction which gives you way more storage way more storage TV mount there you can put it TV in there. mount and these particular units are being sold by Traveland RV which is up in Airdrie just north of Calgary and the show price 124,888. 124,888. Oh, Paradigm 310 RL. About the chassis. It's got the Moride 3000. Yeah, which is great, right? Because this, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of RVing, you want better running gear. We're going to go head on up. All right, so this oh, is wow. the difference for me right here. So, yeah. Natalie, you show this now. We were just in that other one where I was hitting my head. So Way more that's real. the difference between a mid profile and a full profile fifth wheel like the uh, this Alliance Paradigm would be, or at least the other one swooped down more at the front. So yeah. I can't say for sure if, if it was or wasn't. Do you so have the least... nice doors that close here? I mean, this whole system in here is much more luxurious. You've got, I'll let you get in there and take, take a peek. Your washer dryer hookups are in the same place. Lots of extra shelf storage, shoe mm -hmm. storage, all that kind of stuff. 
Do you have a Serta king size mattress? Now this is what I'm talking about for nightstands. They're not huge, but you could do a little uh, command strip, little Velcro thing to make sure your phone uh, charger wasn't falling off. You have USB and you have 110 outlets there. Which is huge. Which is really, really nice. Yeah, really nice. So you can kind of see the quality difference just stepping from uh, an Avenue, which is a great product if you're if that's your price point. But once you get up into the paradigms, yeah, this is a bit of a different world. You get this storage under here, really nice so for valuables or whatever. And then I believe this is all bigger hardwood. Yeah. yeah, bigger drawers. And a bench right there. Now the one thing I like is the bathroom. All right, you take the bathroom. The bathroom is love. Look at this shower. Oh. Now I'm short, so it's perfect for me. But I like the finishing in here. I like that they added a plate, a spot permanently that you can put sh uh, soaps and shampoo and conditioner, all that good stuff. You do have that teak bench that's covered up by that towel right Porcelain there. Porcelain toilet. That is definitely a prime pooping position. <laughs> and it's an epoxy poured top. Now, the only thing I would say, that's nice storage there. And you got a little guy here for, you know, towels and stuff can go up there. It's really deep. And then this is good for like toilet paper and things like that. What were you going to say about the epoxy? I'm not crazy with the epoxy and maybe this is a better one, but any experience I've had with an epoxy top, it can scratch. Mm. Uh, like, I don't know if it, I don't know. All right. It depends on what they're using. Go check out the living room. I like these legless not in dinette the, tables. You're no not a knockers. knee knocker. Yep. Oh, and it's got the pull-out storage in this. Theater seats. Oh. I oh. believe it pulls out on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, but everything is just a little more uh, upscale. Well, yeah, soft it's got solid. Hinges. Yeah. yeah, and solid wood cabinets. Yep. That's huge. And then you get the, uh, I believe, I'm not sure if that is a 12 volt or not. Well, it's so a Norcold. It's a Norcold, so it could be the 12 volt Norcold. I think it is. Yeah, that's wow. a beautiful, beautiful fridge. Got all your controls up there, your coffee station right there. Pantry. Oh, pantry has lights in it automatically. And it's lit up on each shelf, which is nice. Yeah, so very you can cool. actually see everything. Really nice. Yeah, it's just and a... no floor vents, so compared to those Keystone avalanches. Yeah, I'm liking this. This is my first time inside, our first time inside an Alliance. Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. I like the coloring. Like the light fixtures. You got those MCD roller blackout shades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they talk about these atrium windows and these Alliances, and yeah, they are huge. Yep. Huge. Really nice. Right. So that's the Alliance Paradigm. 310 RL. There you see the show price. Okay, now we're at the Jayco North Point. So there's the pass through storage. Not bad. Yeah. Not the biggest we've seen. But it probably has storage at the back, I would assume. So this is a 382 FLRB. So this is one of Jayco's higher end full profile units. And That's then here's here's what we love to see. Check out that pass-through storage. Wow. That's amazing. Outdoor kitchen. You got a full outdoor kitchen. This isn't just like a, a sink and a fridge. This is a full-on capital griddle. And then let's see what pulls out here. Just yeah, storage. just a little bit of storage, which is great. Really nice. So a little different how they've done this as opposed to making that whole back uh, pass-through. Yeah, back or thing pull pass out. pull pull out. They made a made an outdoor kitchen back here, so let's go in and take a look. This is the modern farmhouse. Oh my word! Okay, All right, I we're can taking do a look this. at the bedroom first. Big difference though, because we've just been in a whole bunch of lighter uh, colored interiors, yes. right? So how does that? It's actually not bad because they're offsetting you? some of the uh, with the like the vanilla, mm -hmm. you know. This is amazing. Yeah. Double sink. You're going to hit your head I every know. time you walk in that thing. <laughs> this is beautiful. I mean, that is, this is a full-time rig, right? Okay. So the one thing I'm going to say, maybe they have an option in a trailer of this or a, a fifth wheel of this caliber, I would expect a residential style proper uh, shower head. I mean, this isn't bad, but that is not my favorite and it's quite low. 
So you this get in there. Will. You get in there. Now I'll take sunglasses off because I don't ever wear those. In the shower. All right, so here, this, so this is good right here, but I'm hitting my head At right the back. there. Like, why did they not move that back a bit? Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, I know we've got a radius roof here. You've got your teak bench. But if I'm here, you need to see that. Yeah. Yeah. So that, uh, that would not work for me. No. So a little bit odd how they did it, but it's a beautiful bathroom. It's gorgeous. You've got the double, double sinks. You've got the raised storage over here. And then that should be prepped for a washer dryer as well. Yep, somewhere. Yep, there it is. Okay, You're better filming. Sorry. Yeah. Shouldn't have to do more. Now we're gonna take a look at this. Um, oh, new there's kitchen. a half bath. And this one does have the half bath. But again, so I wonder if they have options for the residential stuff. Maybe that's why the shower is the way it is, because this is a gas propane, or a propane electric. Gas electric, yeah. You do, it's interesting though, you do have the um, Signia four burner cooktop with more of a residential style oven. Yeah, very nice. And then that is a convection microwave as well. Oh. We got the two year bumper to bumper and then the three year structural warranty. Lots of storage though. Tons of Tons storage. Tons of storage. Yeah. You got a TV for the kitchen. Yeah, that's pretty cool. To compete with the TV in the other room. And then it's got one of those sliding, one of these guys. Interesting oh, though, no dishwasher. No dishwasher. That's okay. Nice dinette, but again, it's all the darker colors. I would imagine you can get something with, uh, with Boo. brighter colors. Boo. Got floor vents, really nice uh, sound system. And then you saw the TV on the other side of the kitchen. So, I mean, that's super cool. I'm not it sure is. you want them on at the same time, but uh, at and least with the volume on. it's on a televator, right? So you can put it down. Yeah, it's on the televator. I do like the um, theater seats in the front cap. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. And then these would fold out as well. Yeah, those would fold out as well. Very nice. Okay, so we're here in the Traveland uh, display here at the Calgary RV Show and Expo with Jay, who has his own YouTube channel. Hey. So check it out. Tell them about your YouTube channel. Yeah, we do uh, RV walkthroughs. Uh, try to post once a week. It's called Outdoor Jay, and you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, anywhere you get social media. Jay, thanks so much. It was great to meet you. Nice to meet you. We'll have to come up to Traveland, which is in Airdrie. Just uh, if you're not from Calgary, it's about a 15 minute drive north of the airport. Not even, depending on how fast yeah, you go, right? Just one stop after Cross Iron Mills. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Good luck with the show this okay, weekend. Okay, guys. Thanks. Have fun. Enjoy. Okay. Well, let's take a look. So, Chaparral 355 FBX. Again, not a uh, drop frame, and you've got electron, or sorry, electric four point auto leveling. Actually, it's. Not sure there's auto leveling on this unit because you've got some electric stabilizer jacks in the rear. Yeah. Do you have rack and pinion slides? For that price, right? Yeah, this is a different price point for sure. It's a beautiful nice kitchen. It's nice dinette. and Yeah, lots nice of room in the kitchen here. Huge TV up there. And I believe that is a 12 oh, volt refrigerator. Are you coming out? <laughs> sorry, I didn't want to stand in front of you. Yeah, this is the primary back here. Oh, this is very nice. Got your east to west bed. Yep. No nightstand, but I mean, this is this is pretty fantastic right here. And yeah, now you're gonna shoot me in the in the shower. You do step up a little bit, but yeah, this is because again, this is at the back of the trailer, not at the front. Um, so there's just a lot more room. Obviously, you do have the skylight. I don't even need it. Uh, which is nice and then you have the double sink vanity there tons of cabinets with a window up above with nice. a window yeah yeah so you would get tons of natural light coming in here interesting how they yeah very nice storage up there that's where your tv would go yeah we'll leave that Three burner graystone. So this would be the front, yeah. front bunk. However, you could also convert that into an office pretty easily. If you wanted to. Put bunks in there, another bathroom. Storage. Another full bathroom and with a bathtub. Full bath. It's got a bathtub. Yeah. That's very cool. Very neat. Neat floor plan. Yeah. I just nice want to see. peek at the exterior stuff after. Yeah. Just get in here. Ooh, this is very nice. Yeah. Yeah, nice lit up pantry. Mm -hmm. 
a propane electric fridge. So this is in the R series. It's the dishwasher prep. Dishwasher prep, which is nice, right especially here. if you're thinking of doing either semi or full part full time. Nice four burner insignia stove with the nice oven, oven, elevator, and there's a nice window in behind there too. Mm -hmm. to get lots of light, lots of air. You have USB and power on the uh, sides there. Yeah, very nice. No storage in there though. Feeder seats and legless dinette table with a little extension there. Yeah, let's go take a look at the bathroom. Yeah, really nice treatment on the walls there. That's that's the shower I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly, about. right? You want a There's higher even, end fifth wheel. This is what we're talking about. Like even a place on both sides for your legs to shave. Go on that side flip around whatever go on that side and then you got the teak <laughs> bench there too yes so. exactly these are things you think about if you're in it for more than a weekend exactly yep and i think a lot of our bias is thinking about someday you know how many months would we want to go at a time down south or something along those lines you got your washer dryer prep there tons of great storage in here yeah yeah it's a beautiful trailer And then more secret storage back here. Mm hmm Yeah, tons of storage. Then you've got your hidden storage right there. Yeah. TV in the bedroom. That's the Solitude 310 GK. Yeah, in the bedroom here, this is pretty sweet setup, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You still have that window up, th like just simple little things that Grand Design does that are huge. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And that is prep for washer dryer back there. So yeah. this is the S class. So it's not quite the residential feel of the GK that we were just in. Right. But certainly is a fantastic trailer. Yeah. Now your Lippert digital controls there. Yeah. One touch. Our motor home, you can walk all the way through. Yeah, but then you can't get around it. Yeah, I like the uh, theater seats in the front cap again. Mm -hmm. Pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's really nice. So this is the view from the theater seat. I mean, that is... Sweet. That is absolutely perfect. And yeah. you got both beds there that uh, would fold out. Great storage in here. Storage underneath. My only my only quibble about Grand Design is the colors. I wish they would do something lighter inside. I How do agree. you, as the designer in the room, feel? I would agree, but I mean they are getting better. It is it's sort of that grayish. Mm -hmm. It's not so brown, which I like. I don't like the dark, dark, dark. But right. this is this is good. At least they're doing nice white accents and shiplap and subway tile, actual glass tile, subway right. tiles in the kitchen, which is sure. huge. Go check out the outside storage. Let's do it. Like that is classic. So it's got the drop down storage. Not huge. Yeah, not huge again. But you do have the rear on this one. No, you do not. You do not. Not that we can see. <laughs> not that we can see anyway. You got the Lipper Rhino box the and then thing. your front storage there. So yeah, it's just the pass-through storage at the front. Yeah. That's it. So that'd be a bit of a knock on this one, that uh, outside storage yeah, is not... Yeah, I would agree. Not a ton. But difference here again is they're using... You got the six-point auto leveling, hydraulic auto leveling with Cooper tires, which are so, so nice. Okay. Ahara. The 2023 East to West Ahara 365 RL. Start with the outside, drop frame drop storage. Frame storage. We've got six point hydraulic auto leveling. 
and huge pass-through. Got uh, no thermal foil up there, but at least it's aluminum frame construction. The uh, step above steps. Beautiful Here decor. Here we go. This is light and bright. Beautiful decor. Yeah, beautiful decor. Love you got a little fixtures. bit of the... Yeah. Oh, this is me. This got the slide-out extra counter or fl flip-up. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, a lot of these rear living floor plans are the same, but it's nice to see some slight differences from time to time. Yeah, this is really pretty. That's the fireplace. It looks like there might be some storage behind there. Yeah, there's a release hook there. Gas electric. Little storage oh, man, up there. I'd need a stool in here. Yeah, that's pretty deep. Like up there. Pantry there. But I love it. This is Like all the touches, so it's see-through, but it's not like you're going to see everything back there, which is nice. You know the other thing? I mean, oh, you got another extension too. over here. That's, that's super really, smart. Yeah. That's really smart. Obviously <gasps> your theater seats. Double sinks. This is beautiful. I really, like really this. nice. I think this is a bit of a surprise for us, isn't it? Totally. We hadn't seen much of this brand before. No. So you got your storage. center, and then these would both open up as well. Glass and a residential shower head. And your skylight is in the right place for us tall people. Exactly. Now that's a bathroom. It's beautiful. And then here, okay, liking this. I'm this liking this. Look is at those. Look at the nightstands. I'm a little obsessed with the nightstands, but yes, you are. It's a pretty big okay. deal. But you know what they did is I think this is a queen bed here, so it gives them more room to do that. That must be washer dryer prep there. Yep. Can you just open that? Oh, sorry. It's as wide as I can go. Nice storage. Really nice. And then is this, a, oh, oh. Guess we got what? drawers down there. Drawers underneath. It's the home of the lost items. That's what. Yeah. This is beautiful. And then your TV would just mount right here. Mm. This is gorgeous. I'm pleasantly surprised. We have come back from our grand tour of the Calgary RV Expo and Sale. What a great show it was. It was super busy. Yeah, it was crazy. We couldn't believe. We got there the very first day. We were there at like one o'clock. The lineup just getting into Stampede Park was over the top. It was, it was crazy. Yeah, it was pretty nuts. But. So we got to tour a lot of fifth wheels. You might ask, why fifth wheels? Why not travel trailers? Well, for us, we own a travel trailer. Now, at some point in time, we'd like to escape these winters that we go through and do what a lot of Albertans do, which is go south, go to Arizona, California, maybe even Florida someday. So that's why we wanted to tour fifth wheels. So here is our top five list. Thank you for sticking around for this whole video. I know it was a marathon, but we wanted to show you a lot of what we were able to see at this Calgary RV show and expo. So number five was the Forest River Impression. Now this is a shorter fifth wheel. I don't know that it would really be for us, but the cool feature, I think is the coolest feature we saw during the whole show was when you walked in, it had two things that I think were really unique uses of space. Absolutely. First thing was it was a rear kitchen. So it actually had a ton of counter space, but they actually put the dining area as a bar on the side facing mm -hmm. the camp, which was huge. The other thing was it had one of those corner fireplaces where the TV and the fireplace are, but if you unhook a latch, you flip open the door and you have this massive pantry space, storage area, place to hang coats, very cool use of space. Yes, so in number four was a model by Chaparral. You'll see it down below. I'm gonna place the model number. And the unique feature about this one was it was a bunk room, but the bunks are actually in the front cap of the, in yes. the upper deck of the fifth wheel. What that does for you is if you have kids, yeah, you can use it as a bunk room, but imagine the office space possibilities if you wanna do some work from the road. And then the master bedroom was in the rear of the coach yeah. and it created a massive bathroom with double sink vanities. Mm -hmm. So that was number four. In number three position was the Alliance Paradigm. So we looked at two alliances, the Avenue and the Paradigm. So if you would compare it to a Grand Design, the Avenue would be like the 150 Reflection Series from yep. Grand Design, and the Paradigm would be more like the Solitude. The Avenue was very nice, but the Paradigm just had a, another level of finishing, yes, right? As soon as absolutely. you walked in. Just the quality finishings, the stone counters, all of that kind of stuff. It was really well done. It was definitely a rival to a Grand Design style. And I believe, what did you say? The company's only been around for five years? Yeah, it's, it's been, yeah. let's call it three to five years, somewhere in that neighborhood. They're, they're really knocking it out of the park. If you go on YouTube and once you're done this video, just go <laughs> search up some other Grand, or Alliance owners and there's tons of great feedback there. So. 
In number two position, and I will say th these rankings are not based on anything but cool floor plans, yeah. cool designs, not based on, you know, resale value or, uh, you know, are, is this an actually a good RV to own from a maintenance perspective? So in with that in mind, number two was Grand Design. So yeah. we toured both their Solitude and then their Solitude S-Class. The yeah. S-Class is just a notch below the Solitude. The Solitude is the top of the food chain for their luxury fifth wheels. We like the overall floor plans. They do a lot of things right, whether it's just little nooks and crannies that they use for storage, yeah. how they do their kitchens, how they do their living rooms and bathrooms. We toured a front living. I believe we toured a rear living. Yes. And one more that I can't quite remember because <laughs> we had to make a list. We, we looked at there so was a many. Lot. <laughs> but in general, Grand Design is quite quality. It reminds me of Toyota, although they're only 10 years old, Grand Design is. They're like a, how a Toyota was in the, let's say the, the 90s and 2000s. They keep to their, their formula, yeah. but it's a very solid formula. They don't really deviate from it a lot. And so with that in mind, we would love to see some lighter interiors from Grand Design. In our number one position, and again, this was a real shocker to us. There's a company called East to West. They're made by Forest River. Forest River owns a ton of different brands. Yeah. East to West is a company that's five years old. And the fifth wheel that we toured that we really loved was the Ahara. It was stunning. It was very light interiors, beautiful finishes, backsplash tile, the whole nine yards. It had a double sink in the, in the bathroom. Just a beautifully well-appointed trailer or RV. The other thing we found very interesting when we were talking to the rep, he said that the actual president, who is a woman, has done all of the selections for all of the trailers. And you can really see that, right? She puts her heart and soul into it and it shows. So that's the video. Thank you for sticking with if you get if you've stuck with us this whole time, you get a gold star. <laughs> but are you thinking about buying an RV this summer? Do you own one of the brands that we've talked about today? Place your comments down below. If you own a Grand Design, is it as good as people say? Or an Alliance or a Jayco? Uh, many other brands out there as well. Place your comments down below. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with somebody you know that may like to see some RV reviews and walkthroughs here locally in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And then as always, we would appreciate your support by subscribing to the channel and also make sure to ring that notification bell so you know when we put out our next video. And with that, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.